Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. And uh, today we're actually going to be looking at the new update for our movie that was released today, January 23rd. And uh, let me just uh, open up my movie, or actually the app store for this case. And uh, as you, you, you'll notice, um, if you go to your, uh, all the way at the top, you go to Apple Symbol, you go to Software Update, it will take you straight to uh, the updates or where iMovie, the new version of iMovie will be out. Or you could just go to the app store and you can also find the update there. And uh, as you can see here, I already installed it January 23rd, 2014, which is <laughs> today. And uh, it's version 10.0.2. And they made a lot of changes. I'll have, I've have i had a lot of questions and comments uh, regarding the importing, exporting, crashing, uh, things they couldn't select, uh, couldn't access their adjustments, they couldn't access their... Uh, titles and uh so this actually this update here helps those most of those issues and i'm hoping uh all your guys's questions will be all resolved and answered and regarding um the within this update 10.0.2 now if you just uh, i have the, there's a whole list here um i'm actually gonna quit the app store and i'm gonna open up the image i have of it kind of blurry but i will also have the list of the things they fixed in the description below where you guys will be able to actually see that entire list uh, but this is the main items here that they fixed resolved like the common one that i've had was uh resolves the issue couldn't cause sharing uh, resolves issues that could cause sharing to fail which is the that's that's one of the major issues that i've had uh, and a lot of you uh, from the comments section you guys have told me you guys have had the same problem and another one was the Resolves uh, cases where crop can burn as a map features were not accessible accessible on computers using certain languages And that uh, that's another problem that I've had comments on that I didn't know about the certain languages part But I know some people weren't able to access them like they were grayed out They couldn't use them So I'm hoping most of that 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 is fixed for you guys in this update after you get this update And I do recommend you get this update Because um, uh, it will it, it, it will basically fix all your problems except uh, a few other ones that I still found that appear in iMovie which is kind of uh, disappointing but here I are I'm gonna open up the new version of iMovie as you can see um, it's at 10.0.2 go about no not not about this Mac let's go back let's go to iMovie about iMovie and as you can see I'm running version 10.0.2 now I'm exit out of that, and everything's the same. Nothing, nothing really major changed. But you do, you can access. Uh, you should be able to access your titles, transitions, and uh, share should be just as easy as before. But this time it shouldn't fail for you guys. And uh, nothing, nothing major regarding the layout. Nothing that that sort changed. And I do, I, I did have a little bit different, difficult trouble. Like it, it would take a little bit longer to load for some sometimes. But uh, there's the share feature. Um, but other than that, it's just yeah, like I said already, um, nothing major in the layout, just a few bugs and glitches that were fixed. Now another thing that I really noticed that that really kind of annoys me is that the titles, um, if you notice, um, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna go back to that title and click on it, double click on it. Now you see I can edit it, right? Go to adjustments, go to the text edit, and you can see you can change the font of this one. But then there's some text, like if you go to titles here. And you go, let's go to just a common one, like a reveal. That looks pretty cool. It comes out and reveals itself. I'm going to drag that right into my uh, video here. Uh, make it one second. And I'm going to double click that. And now you can see that I can't actually adjust what font I want this one. I, I can't make it unbold. I can't make it a certain size, which kind of also disappoints me, which I was hoping they would actually make the up with that, include that with the update so we can actually adjust and change the color of this besides it just being bland and just white. But at the same time, this is iMovie and uh, Final Cut. If you want something like where you can change everything, Final Cut Pro will actually do that. But um, for now, I'm just going to delete that. And uh, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video, just show you guys a little bit, talk about a little bit about the update. And uh, you guys let me know if it fixed some of your brightest problems. And if you have any other questions, let me know. And something that you, was, you were hoping it was going to fix that it didn't, uh, just leave a comment section below. I'll be sure to... I like interacting with you guys, so um, just let me know. And uh, other than that, I'm I'm happy with the update. It's just the only thing is the titles. They could have made it so that we can actually uh, change the fonts of that. But uh, everything's running smoothly for me, and uh, I hope everything's running smoothly for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this uh, just update notice, uh, just update, not really a tutorial because I just covered, uh, talked about the update. And other than that, uh, more in the description, you can you can see the full update and full details as well. I'll have it in the description. And thank you guys for watching.
and uh, catch you guys next video later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of you.